Hey, what's up, guys? Sports Dude here, and I'm back again today with some more MLB footage of Houston Astros franchise here. This episode, it is going to be Mark Appel's debut tonight, taking on the Astros, the Astros versus the Rangers here. I'm back again. Two episodes right in a row, taking the Rangers, so I'm not going to play the Rangers for a little while here, but um, cool again to see here. It's 3 and 1 versus 4 0. The Rangers um, going off st strong so far, 4 0, as they beat us in the last game here, the last episode. But uh, we'll see what Marco Pell could do in his debut today. And the Rangers pitcher is Derek Holland, one of the, I believe, what is their ace. So it's going to be a good matchup tonight for the pitching matchup. So let's go check out the Astros lineup, which will be in there in just one second. Let's see what Bo Porter's got for today. So, and here it is. Carlos Correa batting first and playing shortstop. Jose Altuve, Chris Carter, George Springer, Dominguez, Garen Ciccini, Domingo Santana, Robbie Grossman, and Tyler Heineman getting the catching job today. So Jason Casher getting the day off as well. And Derek Allen on the mound, 28 years old, 6'2", 210-pound lefty on the mound for the Texas Rangers. So let's get this one started, guys, from Arlington, Texas. All right, first batter, Carlos Correa is going to hit a weak ground ball right to Jerickson Profar. will fire on the field at four out number one. So quick out so far. And uh, next batter now is Jose Altuve. A one count, one out. The pitch is going to be lined past uh, Adrian Beltre ground ball, and it's going to be a base hit there for Altuve. So we're getting in business here, and that's going to bring up Chris Carter with a man in scoring position. 0-2 count the pitch. Carter strikes out swinging the change up there. Good pitch there by Holland, and that's now two outs for George Springer now. 3-1 count for Springer, and that's going to be another base hit back up the middle. So the count was in his favor, and he needs to get the base hits now since so now. First and second with two outs remaining. And here comes Matt Dominguez now. The next pitch is going to be a curveball. And it's driven into deep right center field. It's going to be back. It is a gone. No, it's off the wall. One run is about to score. Altuve rounding third. He will score. And we're going to hold up um, George Springer there from third base. So second and third. A long RBI single there. An RBI double for Matt Dominguez. Who's having a great start to the season so far. Take a look at the replay once again. He takes a pitch he likes and just drills it out there to a deep right center field. Almost a home run, but we still get the run anyway. So it's one nothing so far now. Chachini up now, and he's going to line the pitch down into right field for a base hit. Run run's going to score, and coming across is Dominguez. He will score as well. It's now 3 0 Astros. A great start to the game so far, and it's now 3 1, 3 0 actually. So a great start. Chachini get a nice 2 RBI double there. Here comes Domingo Santana, 2 0 count the pitch. That's going to be a little weak ground ball. J.P. Zebia fields it, and he will fire on a fielder for the out. So, Holland gets out of the inning, but surrounding three runs so far. Here comes the Texas Rangers lineup here. Alex Rios, Dexter Fowler, the former Astro, Prince Fielder, Adrian Beltre, Shin, Su Chu, Mitch Moreland, Donnie Murphy, Jerkson Profar, and J.P. Aaron Zebia, who is the former Blue, um, Toronto Blue Jay. Taking a look at our pitcher tonight, Mark Appel, 23 year old right on 6'5, 225 pounds. He is the young phenom, I'm going to call him that. Our young prospect making his debut today against the Rangers. Let's see what he can do, and uh, hopefully he does well. So here's the first batter, Alex Rios. The first pitch from Appel is going to be a hard ground ball right to Altuve, who will fire onto first, and that is out number one. So a good start so far for Appel, and we'll see what he can do next for the next batter. Great start for Appel. He's got a good amount of pitches for him. He's going to get follow here to. Um, Nice little weak fly ball right to Springer, who will retire him out. That's Santana. We'll get him out there. There's two outs so far. So I like Capel's pitching. He's got only three pitches, but it's really effective. The slider, the fastball, and the changeup are all good pitches. As he's going to get Prince Fielder here to ground out, and that will retire the side. So a good start for Appel, and uh, hopefully he can continue that. And it's now still 3 nothing Astros after the first inning. Later now in the bottom of the fourth inning now, we got Dexter Fowler up. He's going to hit a base hit back up the middle past the diving Altuve. And it'll be a base hit. Good start for the Astro, for the Rangers now. Looks like bring up a fielder now. 0-1 count once again. It's going to be another base hit back off the mound. And it's now first and second with nobody out. The Rangers are definitely in business here. He's trying to see if they can get some runs on the board. Now Shin Su Chu up now, but he's going to hit into a 5-6-3 double play, and that will retire the side. So Appel gets out of it, and a good start there. So that's going to end the fourth inning. It is still 3 to nothing Astros. We have seven hits, so they have three, but a good start so far. Bottom of the fifth now for Appel, and this is not what he wanted to do. That's the first run given up for Mark Appel, a low, solo shot home run for Mitch Moreland. And that's a nice moonshot home run there. So not exactly what Appel wanted to do there. But he's going to give up his, surrender up his first run here in the major leagues. So, not exactly great there. He spits on the ground. Kind of a, kind of upset a little bit. But it is still 3-1 Astros. We still have the lead. So, that is a good thing. 
Later now in the top of the sixth inning, one man on hand. Garanchini up. He's going to take a ground ball right to Profar, who has some trouble fielding it, but he will still fire on the first and get Chichini there. So that will retire the side for that inning. And once again, kind of a slow-moving game here, but it is still um, 3-1. to one. So after eight hits, five for the Astros. Good start there. So now here comes Alexi Ogando. In the two games so far, four innings pitch, one walk, three strikeouts. And he's been facing Domingo Santana. His first pitch of the game is the Paul Clemens is in the bullpen, the former... Astro, the first pitch is driven in the deep center field. It is high, it is deep, and it is gone. Fowler looking back, he's going to look up, and it is gone into the grass in center field. That's the first major league home run for Domingo Santana and one of our other prospects we called up this year to bring some more um, outfield depth we needed, and he was tearing up AAA, and we had to call him up. So he gets his first major league home run here in his at-bat. Great start for Domingo Santana. Love seeing that. So that's pretty cool. And he gets it off of his first pitch to Mussi Ogana, kind of crazy, but puts the fastball right in the heart of the plate. And 430 feet down to straight center field, Domingo Santana. So he's going to be a nice um, player to have. 69 overall, I believe, or 70 overall, actually, with beat potential. So hopefully he can turn out pretty good. And of course, it's going to be the show. They got to do the silent treatment because every time it's the first home run, it's got to be the silent treatment. So here's the silent treatment from our team. Pretty cool to see. With Domingo getting his first home run there. So it's now 4 to 2, 4 to 1. Astros get the victory. We're going to say 4 to 2, 4 to 1. Get the Astros have the uh, lead right now. So Matt Harrison comes in. He'll pitch later. And Appel, uh, once again, is going to have, uh, give up another solo shot. It's going to be high and it's deep and it's gone. Moreland with two home runs in this game and they're both off Appel. And now it is 4 to 2. So kind of gave it away there a little bit earlier. But otherwise, it is now 4 to 2. The fireworks are coming out. But I don't really know why. They're still losing. But Appel with a good. Um, run there. He gets up the two runs. It's now 4-2. to two. Astros still have the lead. Moreland's really can be killing Appel today, but it's okay, and that's going to be the end of Mark Appel's day. He gives up six and two-thirds inning, and he's going to have two earned runs. A great, great start. Quality start for Mark Appel. He's going to be fun to play with in these next couple of seasons. I can't wait to keep using him. He's just a fun guy. He's 23, and he's got electric stuff, so he's just really going to be fun to play with, so but it's a good showing here today. It's going to bring him now. Steve Ciszek, one game so far, one inning, and that's pretty much it for Steve Ciszek. So he's their new setup man since we signed Dave Robertson in free agency this past season. And he'll get um, Alex Rios to ground out the first base for the out. So here comes Dave Robertson now for the bottom of the ninth. It's 4-2. to two. This is Robertson's first appearance as a Houston Ash. We signed him, and like I said, in free agency for $10 million. So let's see what he can do here. 1-2 count. Prince Fielder looking silly on the knuckle curve. As Hyman will now fire in the first, and he is out. So, great start for Robertson. Like I said, he's got a fastball knuckle curve, and I believe it's a two-seamer and a changeup, and they're just all deadly. As you see, their knuckle curve doing its job, fooling Adrian Beltre. Two quick outs for Robertson. That's going to bring up Shin Suchu. One-two count. The pitch is a floated into center field. Presley is there, and that will retire the side. So, I think it's Robbie Grossman, actually. And that will retire the side game over the Astro. Get the victory 4-2. to two. Appel gets the victory. In his first major league starts and debut as well. So a great start from Appel and a great bullpen showing for us. That's exactly what I wanted to improve on this season. You see the guys, the kids are coming out. We got Domingo Santana get his first home run. Appel is strong. Unfortunately, Wojciechowski did not do so good last episode, but I don't know. We'll see if he can continue to progress. We got our young uh, phenom as well and young star Kyle Crick down. There's eight potential. He's in AAA right now, still progressing. So, hopefully when he, he probably get the call up maybe eventually as well. But 4-2 to will get the victory over Derek Holland and the Texas Rangers, guys. So now, we're going to do a lot of simulating here. Go later in the months. And Anthony Renato broke his hand. One of our eight potential young pitchers of the future. Broke his hand be out for one or two months. So that's a big blow to us. So, with that, I was thinking about doing Crick. But he's not doing so well so far. And I do have a, um, a kind of a veteran who's been looking pretty good. So, Brad Peacock is going to be signed, uh, brought up. He'll be uh, fitted into the rotation um, so he goes, I was injured there, and I'm going to show you guys, we're 19 and 8 after we simulate all through April there. I can't believe it, we're 19 and 8. We have a winning record, and we're doing really good, so that's pretty cool to see. And we are now 25 and 12, we simulate here with next game against the New York Mets, Dylan G, Brad Peacock, will be on the mound, and we're in the middle of May now, May 13th. So the Astros are actually first in the AL West, which is really awesome. We have a winning record. The, the kids are helping us win. So thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new to my channel, guys. Come on back for some more Houston Astros baseball. Have a great day. I'll see you later.